Hello computer geeks, welcome back again. So far we have learned how to send SMS, sending SMS with custom sender ID, sending OTP. In this video, I am going to build a web app which sends OTP to the entire mobile number and verifies the user within given span of time. You might have seen such feature in Hotstar login and all other banking website while making transactions. This video is a practical implementation of theory explained in one of my old video. It's going to be very more fun. So why waiting? Please subscribe and support my content and do not forget to click on bell icon. Let's dive into the topic. Building web application in Python using Flask framework. Right now I am in my terminal. I'm going to my desktop. In my desktop, I'm going to create a directory using the command make directory mkdir space app. After creating a directory, make sure you have virtual environment is installed into your computer. Type virtual env. You should get these usage instructions. If you don't get it to install virtual environment type pip install virtual env this will help you to run multiple python application in different terminals terminal will give you different session for different virtual environment so simultaneously you can run multiple python web applications so we are using virtual environment to build today's application once after you make sure virtual environment is installed in your computer system just go to the app which you have already created in here so change the directory to app within the app create a virtual environment using this particular package command is virtual env and give a name to that particular environment I will say flask app it says created virtual environment successful now I am going to clear my screen I am going to type command ls so to list the files and the directory reside within app folder so there it is flask after we need to activate this particular virtual environment to activate this type source space flask app this is the name of the environment slash within that particular folder we have a folder called binary bin within that we need to select activate file so when you click you will not receive any sort of success message but you will get to see this difference in this terminal line say flask app it says you are in the virtual environment flask app so that's it that's how you activate this virtual environment i'm going to clear my screen again in this particular virtual environment i am going to install flask flask is a micro a framework for building web application using python so i'm gonna hit enter it will start collecting its related package and will install it to our particular virtual environment so it says successfully installed i'm going to clear my screen again once after you install flask go to your in editor now i'm using sublime text editor i'm gonna open the file here in the desktop we have created folder called app and a flask app which is our environment I'm gonna open this within the flask app I'm going to create a new file I'm renaming this file as a script.py and save it now the script.py is inside flask app from flask we are going to import flask module F should be caps flask module now we are going to create an object for this 
flask by passing the name of the module once we have app we need to define root it's going to be a URL pattern this is called URL pattern here I'm going to define a method or a function called home here I am returning hello world hello world so this is our first script so one we need to add one more uh, line of code one more condition to get started that is the condition we need to check whether this file is the main file so this file is the starting point of this server uh, server application this is the starting point of our entire web applications to do that we need to we need to check we need to check whether the name is equals to is equals to inside this particular name we should we should see whether we have main within it so if that's true then we need to call app.run run takes a multiple argument so one among them is debug so we need to make debug is equals to true save the file save the file go back to the terminal press type ls go back go to go to cd and flask and type ls here you could see script.py type the command python3 space script.py and hit enter it says serving flask app script and debug mode is on and the application is running in this particular local url local host go to your browser and paste that url and press enter and it says hello world so this is it this is how we build simple python application so this is running uh, and this entire service is up and running